Sometimes, exploring means touring a special place with one of its guardians and supporters. I'm author and researcher Mike Luoma. A summer 2021 road trip gave me the chance to meet up with Glenn Kreisberg in Woodstock, New York, and see the Cairns, Stone Prayers, and possible Serpent Rose at Lewis Hollow on Overlook Mountain, a site Glenn has been investigating and helped protect for many years. It's not open to the public, but there are occasional public tours. You can learn more from the Overlook Mountain Center at overlookmountain.org. Glenn has found possible Native American ceremonial stone landscape works in several hollows around Overlook Mountain. The narrow valleys cutting into the mountainside are areas of high groundwater permeability. The springs and brooks of the hollows serve as the headwaters for larger streams and rivers, which flow onward to the sea. Researcher David Johnson has found the Native American stoneworks are placed upon the areas of highest groundwater permeability. This may explain why the many smaller cairns at Lewis Hollow seem clustered in small groups and arrangements. But among them, six great cairns seemed, at first, randomly placed. And two possible serpent effigy rows were found higher up the ridge. Attempted to connect the dots, Glenn discovered the Great Cairns and Serpent Rose mirrored the constellation Draco on the ground. You can learn more about Glenn's theories and David Johnson's groundwater permeability studies in Glenn's 2018 book, Spirits in Stone. Glenn showed me a few of the many cairns in the hollow, including the great cairns. This one is being tested for its age using OSL dating, optical luminescence testing, which can be used on dirt and rocks as opposed to carbon-14 dating, which can only be used on organic material. For some, determining age will help establish the ancient significance of the site. We climbed higher to find the twin serpent effigy rows. They rise up, tail to tail, heads facing out opposite each other, a few hundred yards apart near the top of the ridge. For me, these are definitely effigy works, the large boulders meant to be heads and altered to enhance that appearance. The stone rose undulating off behind the serpent's body and tail.
There certainly seems to be an ancient significance to this site. My thanks again to Glenn for showing me around and sharing such a special space, and for a great conversation on sites as well. I'm Mike Luoma, and I do hope you've enjoyed sharing a little of this experience of Lewis Hollow. <laughs>